right, so we just got to Rizzo Rink. Uh, this is like the new build that Fifth Pocket and Sloan uh, kind of put together pretty quick overnight, and it looked really sick on the internet, so I had to check it out myself. Uh, a lot of people might say it's not much, but I tend to highly disagree with that. I think it is just enough, and this place looks really fun, so definitely gonna skate it. Hopefully, some people I know will just be here, show up, and I can snipe some clips of them too for this. There's also the Love Park ledge here, so if you are a skater that got to skate Love Park, you know how cool that is to have that back. If you're younger and you never got to skate there, now you can get a little taste, a little nibble. Get your stretch in. It's this cold. What it looks like.
is sick, dude. This new build is really, really fun. Props to Fifth Pocket and Sloan and everybody involved because it's it's just right. It's just enough. It's really, really fun. Come check it out if you haven't. Uh, I think we're gonna go check out this Manny Pad spot. It's like right down the street from here. But also, yeah, wearing a yellow shirt, dude. Happy Diwali to all my Indian friends out there. I'm sorry I don't have many other clothes that aren't black. Goth is a lifestyle. Goth is a lifestyle. <laughs> I forgot. This is actually a part of my daily life. So I, I drive a company car because I work for this company that does like like demos, skate demos and school assemblies, whatever. Anyway, it's a company car and this thing sucks, dude. It, it basically eats, it consumes oil. So every time I fill up my gas tank, I have to add like a quart or two of oil, which is so annoying. And one day, yeah, like, look at that, dude. There's literally nothing. There is no oil in this car. <laughs> it, it consumes oil, dude. Every, every single gas tank, two quarts of oil goes in this bitch. So it, there's no leak before anybody even drops in the comments and it's like, oh, dude, why don't you just get the leak fixed? There's no fucking leak. It's a scion. <laughs> it just eats oil. It's crazy. One of these days, I'm gonna get a new car, like, really soon. And I'm gonna give this car back to the company. It's getting cold out here. <laughs> the East Coast. Um, yeah, we just hit this spot up next. Uh, gonna skate around, maybe do a manual or two, and then try to film a clip for the uh, One Skateboards video. We are still working on that. That should be, when is that coming out, dude? I don't know. Early December? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think, the, I think we're done filming like last day of this month right last day of november and then yeah editing starts so november hopefully too. by i don't know probably before christmas definitely before christmas really out of breath because I suck at manuals. 22 years of skateboarding, I've never gotten good at manuals. That took a lot longer than than you think. Uh, we're gonna stop by the Skateboard Academy now. I'll show you guys that place. It's actually an indoor skate park. It's open to the public for like $5 donations you guys can skate. There are sessions like Wednesday, Thursday is a girl session, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, whatever. I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, also, that's like the TF for one skateboard. So I'm gonna be Grabbing some new boards too. Uh, so we are. Is it recorded? Yeah. We're on our way up to the uh, skateboard academy. It's three two four five Amber Street in Philly. It's on the fourth floor, so you got to take this kind of. It's kind of scary looking elevator at first, but honestly, it's fine. Hey, doing? Now, once you come out of that elevator, you turn to your left, and the skateboard academy is right here. This place is pretty relaxed, pretty chill. Um, AJ Cohn, who owns One Skateboards, he also runs this place, the Skateboard Academy. And uh, he uses it for a lot of lessons. There's a lot of group clinics. Uh, we do like clinics and lessons for all ages, by the way. Like whether you're three years old or 53 years old, we will teach you how to skateboard here. So it is a spacious facility. Um, it's got every like tiny kind of ramp or obstacle here so that you can learn the basics on a skateboard plus there's plenty of wide open floor space too so just practicing rolling around and ollies and kick turns and dropping in this place is really perfect i mean it's perfect for learning how to skate uh also we do we uh we keep the boards here so that's that is the reason why i'm here today i need to grab some boards 
Not even just for me, man. It's for like Shane Koval and John Carson. I'm like, they're bored mule. What the fuck? Not a lot of people get to see this. I'm going to show you guys. I hope I don't get in trouble for it. The whole stock of one skateboards. Oh, he's even got these things still. Those, nobody, I don't know. We've got some uh, pro models from the animal series left. Oh man, we're almost out of those actually. And then a whole bunch of the pattern boards, the one-way logos. Anyway, I'm gonna get grabbing these uh, boards for my friends and the, the dudes that ride for one and myself. And uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of this episode, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm just getting started on my YouTube, but I, I try to upload multiple times a week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go out and skate. Turn this technology shit off.